Hello, welcome, well, welcome back to my YouTube channel, so I like introductions then more, so let's jump right into this video. So what you have to do first, let's create a new document, custom, and then here, uh, enter uh, type 1080 by 1080, and now with this, uh, make sure here you have selected pixels, and um, here name doesn't matter for me just enter name here should be 60 uh, create okay now and the next step and I know yeah there are some lines here well to remove those lines you have to go to view and then here in uh, view guides make sure you click on clear guides and then you click on new guide layout and here make sure you set three by three and it is that's what I want but if you want to get the effect you're looking for and you clicked on this video click on three here please and then click on OK select the colors that you want to color red mm, looks good and it's more visible that's the only reason it's the only reason I chose this color now click on OK and then you can go here in and just uh, right click and select slice tool or C and then right click. Now select here. Yes, I love actually zooming in and out. Slice from guides and voila. Now I know it's quite boring, but guys, you gotta do it. You gotta be patient and you'll be able to create this effect. So just bear with me. Now files, file, export, and then save for web legacy. And here we are gonna want preset JPEG high and then you click on save here as you notice <coughs> excuse me wait i didn't add any image but yeah it's just simple now if you add the image and you can create in your layer no worries grab drag and drop uh, drag and drop the image position the image you can enable this position exactly the way you want the image sorry the image here and then and now and if you want to you can still you know So now you can see here lock guides, you can clear guides, you can now go back here and create a new one. But uh, it still worked like uh, if you had this before, like already, you already created this as I showed you. And then you go here and then you click on imports sorry share export and then you click on this one uh, you'll be you exp you will export um, this all the images where you want save now you have all the images exported here and you can of course now uh, just upload images in the correct order uh, if uh, you will uh, you will add these images to your Instagram or any other social media make sure you do it in the correct order look at your image see which one which one goes before the off the other one um, the right order and yes now now you've got all the images in the folder and uh, let's say maybe you want to add uh, this effect before um, not a square for a different resolution just an image like this one and other things that i'm going to show you later on that you can do with uh this slice tool so 
let's go back in view view and then here guides and if you already have some guides you clean guides new guide layout and here click on and make sure you select how many number columns and how many rows and click on ok and now <coughs> excuse me now you're gonna have to select slice tool and make sure here in view you select you checked snap and then here you can uh, do this you can select this portion now I have uh, for this one edit slice options I have the option to name this image and is a type of image here pretty cool and uh, and uh, now I can uh, select let's say this one as well and I'm gonna zoom in maybe this uh, will help you I'm gonna select this portion as well let's say you like a portion of that image and you want to slice to crop to uh, bake that part you know with you because you like that part you love that part of the image and want you want to take it home with you so you know now right click edit you can send back and send to backward you can bring bring to front you can edit slice options and name it but as I showed you before you can also export export uh, save for web legacy here different presets you can save as PNG gif gift uh, for your friend and then you also have a uh, JPEG high resolution and now here you just click on save and then you also have here the option to all slides or selected slides okay and you click on save and that's pretty much it so that's pretty cool and no that's beautiful that's impressive you can also now that's why it's good to have selected crop sorry not crop uh, but a snap to and here is snap to you need to check snap to and also all of this click on none you are in brick trouble but if you click on all you are not in trouble because you have snap and snap to all you see magic delete slice you can also do that do that doing that good and uh, um, yeah there's something here I don't understand is what this doing oh I see what it's doing yeah so if you want to only crop this part and I'll thought that I understand everything you want this this portion and this is above all of the selections I'll I don't I don't even have to explain you this because it's so simple yeah send back actually it's simple but uh, it's funny that I didn't understand at first I was still thinking and now you can send it back or bring to front or bring forward bring to front or bring bring forward okay now we have so many slices here so I'm gonna go here to view and then clear slices all right and then also guides and then uh, clear guides as well as well and clear slice and then clear uh, guide all right now here we have uh, this and we can uh, click on divided slice and check both of this so here three by three and click on OK and this is basically kind of a different method now you can go to file 
and then export and then uh, save for web legacy and then here just jetpack and here mass maximum quality and then here you just click on now here we have all the images as you can see so it works without any problems i hope you found this video helpful subscribe for more tutorials and i'll see you in the next video take care